To achieve maximum efficiency within a potting operation and to minimise production bottlenecks, the workflow process from potting to plant placement must be efficient. The following video highlights the areas that could be considered when making improvements to the overall productivity of the plant setting out operation. Identifying the individual steps within each workflow process provides an understanding of how different steps fit together and identifies the areas that could be responsible for any reduction in the efficiency of the overall process. Every step in the process affects the output of each of the other steps. To improve the overall efficiency, each process area of management, communication, loading, transport and setting out must be considered. Quality management creates a plan that identifies the goals of the process, how it is to be achieved, when it is to be undertaken, and how it is to be completed. Clear and concise instructions on how the potting plan is to be implemented will ensure the planned work is carried out as required, minimising double handling or duplicated work. A good communication system includes a transparent management structure, clearly articulated staff roles and responsibilities, concise written instructions, and the use of electronic equipment such as phones, tablets and two-way radios. 10 to 20% of excess labour costs can be attributed to poorly trained staff. Staff need to be trained in a range of areas including manual handling, safe operation of machinery and efficient container handling techniques. To maintain optimum efficiency, worker fatigue should be minimised. Correct bending practices should be used, protection from the elements provided and tasks rotated. Ensure all work areas are safe. For example, ensure staff do not have to walk over drains and around irrigation. All staff using machinery should have appropriate training. Effective systems for preventing injuries from machinery should be in place. The working speed of individual staff members has a major bearing on the productivity of the potting and setting out operation. Not all staff work at the same speed and selecting the right person for the task will improve the efficiency of the operation. Having effective maintenance schedules to ensure equipment is well maintained will reduce downtime and increase efficiency. An efficient potting operation should record details of the potting activity to enable communication of the accomplished production to management and to initiate tracking of each crop or batch through the production cycle. Paper records are easily managed by the majority of nursery staff. Direct field entry of data into electronic record systems has the potential to minimise the amount of time spent in keeping records. Electronic records provide the easy recall of records and analysis over time. A watering tunnel can be added to the potting line to provide a cost-effective, efficient and uniform method of irrigating newly planted material. However, transporting and setting out will require the handling of wet containers and plants. Another option is to irrigate by handheld hose, either at the potting area or in the field, which is more labour intensive and less likely to be uniform. Staking of certain plant types may be required as part of the post-potting operation. The point in the process where this is performed should be selected to minimise bottlenecks. Granular herbicides can be applied at potting or in the field any application of plant protection products must be conducted according to label directions and all staff utilising the products should wear appropriate personal protective equipment and have read the product label and safety data sheet. Having containers stacked closely will minimise the application time required and minimise off-target applications. Studies have shown that potted plant handling can be the most costly part of the potting operation. Travelling distances contributes a large proportion of the time spent in moving plants from the potting operation to field areas. Efficiency can be improved by handling multiple units and minimising the distances travelled. To minimise single trips and the total distance travelled, the following strategies should be considered. Having an efficient procedure to prepare the growing area for setting out plants ensures the operation proceeds smoothly. The area should be blocked up, disinfested and if required have the bed defined prior to setting out the plants. 
using strategies to minimise the number of hand movements, and using aids such as lined weed mat can reduce the time spent in setting out plants in the growing bed. Labelling batches of plants is invaluable in identifying plants for subsequent treatment, troubleshooting and dispatch. Labelling should be included in the setting out procedure so additional time isn't spent travelling to the site again. More information can be found in the Horticulture Australia Limited Funded Project Report Optimum Work Methods in the Nursery Potting Process and available from the NGIA website. Industry best practice guidelines provide valuable information and instructions on developing and operating an efficient production nursery. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia, the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to the following businesses for assistance in producing this video. For further information, contact the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia or the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand.